What's up, everyone? It's Ronald Wolf for A5 here. Um, here to talk to you a bit. Another aspect of the collect the Hot Wheels collecting hobby, one that's very sought after and hard to find as well, and pretty expensive once you get around to it. I mean, red lines are the most expensive, but this is probably third most expensive thing you'll do. Um, treasure hunts. Treasure hunts. I have about 20 treasure hunts, and all these just a few examples. Now, treasure hunts. <clears throat> where Division Mattel started back in 1995. Now, um, from 95 to 97, they had um, 95 to 97. Those are the only three years to actually have the. This is the 96 Treasure Hunt Dodge Viper, the one they put the wrong Viper in the package. Actually, a pretty cool collector's item now. If you see it up in the corner right there, they actually had a little thing telling how many they made. In 98, 98 and on, they never released the production numbers for them, so we'll never know how many were actually produced. This one was 25, limited to 25 grand. Now, you may think that's a lot. It's really not, though. I mean, something like this. This is not a treasure room. This is a standard Hot Wheel. They could have made 10 million of it, for all we know. This is an Audi Avis Quattro with the seven spoke wheels but as the years went on they steadily got the card changed along with them all of them retain this green stripe right here as I'll give an example this is a 98 treasure hunt 98 or 99 I forget toe jam this specific one is a it says limited edition on it but that's because it's an internationally carded hot wheel the word treasure hunt apparently doesn't translate in the different languages so this is toe jam all treasure hunts up to 2006 are categorized, most of them pretty much, except for like two or three, are categorized by the use of special colors, the word treasure hunt or TH or T hunt written on them somewhere. And if you can't tell, these are actually, yeah, you can't tell, these are pretty much uh, real riders' tires. Real riders' tires are simulation rubber tires. Some of them even gone far and have treads on them. I do not have a good example of one, so we'll move on. Other examples of treasure hunts include this 2004 treasure hunt Cadillac scene and this 2003 treasure hunt 57 Eldorado. I love Cadillacs, so I'm trying to get all those in treasure hunt form. And 2006 was the last year for the normal treasure hunts like this that we know. I have a 2006 treasure hunt, the Dairy Delivery. Unfortunately, it's stuck up there on my wall because I couldn't get it off. There it is. See it? It's right there. That's it. That was actually also the first treasure hunt I ever garnered, and the only treasure hunt I found in store so far. All my other ones have come secondhand. Flea markets, trades. Anyways, in 2007, they started this. They split them into normal treasure hunts and super treasure hunts. Now, I don't have any super treasure hunts to show you, because they're, they get pretty expensive for some reason, and they're hard to find. People don't want to give them up for some reason. Although, some people will open them and then burn them. Just to, just to make people mad. Anyways, this is a 2010 normal treasure hunt, 53 Cadillac, custom. Um, the super version would be like the originals, real riders tires, special paint on it. This one's just plain paint and normal wheels. Let's see, normal five spoke wheels. But, um, and this is another one. This is an, this one I actually picked up and it was an error. I picked it up at a flea, at a yard sale. Guy was selling off his collection. I didn't even notice until I got home. Note the wheel on the back has some of the has some of the paint washed on the actual tire. Now, like I said, the Super Treasure Hunt version has special wheels, real riders tires, and more metallic Spectra Flame looking paint. This is just a normal, it's just almost like a normal hot wheel with a metal base. Metal bases are getting kind of hard to find now. This is a this is a 2012 Treasure Hunt. The Chevelle, one of the only ones I know of not to have a Super Treasure Hunt variation thereof. Now, um, here about a couple years ago, I don't remember the exact year, they started something called Super Secret Treasure Hunts. As if it didn't get any more complicated than it needed to be. Super Treasure Hunts did Super Secret Treasure Hunts, excuse me, do not come in a green striped pack. They no longer, they don't have the green stripe like these. This is a 2011, it's not a Super Secret Treasure Hunt, let's get this straight. It's a special car that they made a limited quantity of that they put into the line, but it's not a Super Secret Treasure Hunt. It's already been revealed, it's just a special edition. This is a good example, though. 
This is DW1. It's an indie car dedicated to the late Dan Weldon, who passed away October 16th, 2011. Now, this one came with actual treaded, you can see that, real rider's tires, special wheels, vector flame paint, and special paint job. But it did not have the green stripe on the side of it. It has this yellow stripe. That's how super secret treasure hunts get around. They have a normal colored stripe on the side of them, but they got special wheels. Examples of this, I do not have any of those either because they're hard to find. I have no luck at Walmart or Kmart or Kroger stuff. It just gets on my nerves. But what it is is that they'll be like that. Examples include the Aurora Fire Department Dodge Charger, the AEM Red Honda S2000, and the Red Ford Focus Rally, I think. But yeah, those will be, they'll have a normal version, normal being like, okay, hold on a minute, normal, and then they'll have the Super Treasure Hunt version. They do that, and I don't know why. Now, this goes on from 2007 to 2012. 2012 is the last year for the true treasure hunts. According to, according to some of the guys I know on the Hot Wheels collector boards, um, they will no longer have this green stripe. They will be like the super secret treasure hunts. And there is a green striped car there, but do not fall for it. Now, this is a 2012 new model. This is the Angry Birds Minion Pig. Now, I'm only showing this because the Red Bird is on it. The Red Bird and the Minion Pig, is, well, especially the Red Bird, comes on a green, green striped card. It is not a treasure hunt. No 2013 tri striped cards are treasure hunts. None of them. Do not believe the lies. We know this because the new Batmobile is on it as well. Um, it's got the green stripe on it. It says Hot Wheels Imagination, but it is not a treasure hunt. There's a whole bunch of people out there who will pick up like 10 or 11 of them, put them on eBay, put $200 asking price, and then people get suckered in the bottom because it says treasure hunt on the top of it. They are not treasure hunts. They are no longer going to have the normal green stripe for a treasure hunt. They'll all be super treasure hunts. The most recent one we know of is a ZR1 Corvette and a Grand Tour... No, excuse me. The Ford Falcon XB. Yeah. Um, so far, those are the two we know of currently. There's probably a couple more that I've completely forgotten, but... Yeah, they're starting to do that now. It's kind of uh, making us all really mad. Specifically those that collect treasure hunts. I specifically do not collect treasure hunts. I buy the ones I like. That's about it. The whole point of Hobbles Collecting is to buy what you like. Don't give in to everything and try to buy every treasure hunt there is. Because you're not going to be able to complete the 95 through 97 series more than likely. But this is what I... This, just to deviate off for a second. You collect what you like. Now I have all these... I'm doing these videos solely... To show an area you might like to collect. You might want to collect all the treasure hunts. You might want to collect all the red lines. I collect Chevelles. So I have all the treasure hunt Chevelles. Now the Chevelle wagon is one I'm after. It's a super treasure hunt. I have the normal one in the back over there. But since doing this it's caused a lot of trouble for some people. Because we see that green stripe. And we get all sweaty and just like oh my god. And then we look at it and we're like oh. 2013. Crap. But yeah, that series is pretty much dead. Of course, most people consider 95 through 2006 to be the to be the true treasure hunts anyways, so I guess that point is null, but take with it what you want. Oh, and there's also another series of treasure hunts to look for. I do not have an example of that either, but it's Breadbox. It's called Breadbox, believe it or not. I do have an example of the symbol it has on it, though. Now, for 2013, they have this special edition series where it has a symbol on the car representing the representing that it is rare and hard to find. One of them is a white bread box. Do not get it confused with the 2010 new models. The only difference between it is it has this symbol right here on it. See that little Hot Wheels symbol with the flame on it? Right there. This is not a treasure hunt. This is the 2008 first edition new models. Um... This is the Custom 77 Dodge Van. But when they put that symbol on it from 2013 on, apparently it'll be a rare car. So, there's a couple of them out there. There's a Highway Hauler 2 and the Bread Box. And there's also another one, but I forget what it is. You'll probably have seen this symbol somewhere before on the Larry's Garage series, which I have sitting over here. The Larry's Garage series of cars and other series as well. 
But there are also treasure hunts for other series, but I'll get into those later in another video. This is strictly just the treasure hunt series as a whole. But those new treasure hunts, I've yet to find one. I will find a bread box so and keep it. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of that. So, like I said, rate, comment if I have missed anything, and subscribe to my channel. You'll see more of me later on. I will also, I will also uh, get into later on about other ones, so just stay tuned. And if you have a series you want me to do, just comment about it or send me a message of it or just whatever. Peace.